See? Perfect. That's what I had in mind. It's quite a lot. Yeah, we squeezed the workers pretty hard. And now let's get this stuff out of here. Of course. But before we go, we should make sure that everything's there. Good. Hey, there's nothing to see here. I don't like people who snoop around. I have to distract them if I want even to get a closer look at some crap. I could use some help. We need to sail before it's too late. I could use your help in distracting those two over there. Hmm. What kind of distraction did you have in mind? I'll leave that to your imagination. If it helps get us out of the harbor, I'll be happy to oblige. Jack, I think I should do this. We shouldn't underestimate these people. You mean I can't handle those guys? Trust me, Jack. I know what I'm doing. Always. I think Amanda should do it. I have complete trust in her. That's right. You can rely on me. As always. I don't care. Hey, boys. I'm looking for folks I can talk to about tough business, like drinking and weapons. Sure thing, Fräulein. Hey, gentlemen. Uh, what's up? Oh, isn't that an 1895 Winchester? Damn. Wow, so much money. I'm rich. This must be the money the Umbati Corporation is keeping from the workers. I should use it wisely. Impressive. Oh, but that's a point four oh five caliber. Just the buffalo will be minus a two. Sorry, but I need to leave now. Catch you folks later. Ha. What a nice lady. <clears throat> and now, back to It's gone! The shipment for Umbati! I'm a dead man. And so are you. Me? But I already handed it over to you! If anyone gets in trouble, it should be you! Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Maybe, if I take the empty money cases, he won't notice. And in the meantime, I can squeeze the money out of someone else. I'm sure I can raise it again. Uh, you know what, Harbor Master? I've got to run. Fast. But the strike? I don't care. And neither should you. Because you're fired. Oh. Gentlemen, I give you Umbati's money. Our money? <laughs> it's here! Umbati finally gave up! Well, not really. Actually, it's me who... The strike is over! We can go back to work! And, and I must say, the Umbati Corporation has offered us a pretty penny. But they could be furious when they next show up. Jack, we are in your debt. Is there anything we can do for you? You know, my ship is still moored. We'll take care of that. Okay, Jack. Your ship is free now. Thank you. Now we can continue our journey. Wait. We want to ask you something. After this whole business, we decided to found a group that will promote our interests. We are going to call it a union. Right, but we need a strong leader. And you did extraordinarily well. Could you imagine yourself becoming our leader? We believe you are up to the responsibility. Responsibility? Leader? Uh, I'm sorry, but that's just not my cup of tea. But you've already proved you can do it, so why not? We've really got to leave now. Carl, is the ship ready? So what are we going to do now without a leader? I would say it's payday! Hmm. Nonsense, Carl. Of course this is the way to New York. Jack, we're sick and tired of eating bananas. Talk to the gorilla right now. I talked to the cook. 
naturally he'll continue to serve bananas. Jack, uh, could you come here for a moment? We have company. What the devil? Mr. Keen, you can probably guess who I am. Yes, the first pirate who managed to board my ship. Pirate is such a harsh term to call someone who was just coming to converse with you in peace. I was just told that you have a tendency to run away from things. I wouldn't put it that way. I know. It all started in an orphanage in London. You grew up there, and then you ran away. That was... I'm not interested in why, Mr. King. Let's get down to business. You have an amulet. I would pay you an adequate price for it. I abhor armed violence, and only use it as a last resort to achieve my objectives. I am a man who loves to negotiate. the difference between a sailing ship and your mother. If you don't behave, I'll cut out your tongue. Terry, no reason to get angry. Mr. Keen is currently under a lot of stress. Isn't that right? Perhaps we can take the load off his shoulders and replace it with this. Wow. That's at least three... no, four. This will buy you the biggest ship you can imagine, Mr. Keen and allow you to get rid of this miserable heap of junk, including the rats and lice. Jack! What do you say, Mr. King? Why are you so eager to get the amulet? Let me put it like this. In your hands, the treasure that it leads to would be completely useless. Dangerous, even. But in my hands, it would enable me to ring in the next phase of evolution. That should be reason enough for you to accept the money and leave the amulet to me. Regrettably, I must refuse. I'm sure that you will accept my offer now. Just think. Death on the one hand, and on the other, this. Oh, oh. This must be at least... Wait, let me see. This would be enough to buy you the entire Royal Navy, and every single ship would be better than this worm-riddled hulk. And they'd smell better too. But this is my last offer. My time is precious, and this is the maximum I will invest. So what do you say? Death? Or this? None of the above. You arrogant snob. The amulet is mine, and you'll never get your paws on it. I had been warned that you were a fool. But you're even worse than your reputation. If that's your answer, then I'll just take the amulet. And you get nothing. Let's go. I've wasted enough time here. The deal is off. And your ship is sinking. Great! We travel all the way to Africa, and now we've lost the amulet to Mbata. Don't worry, Amanda. We still have the map from my dream. We can get back into huh. the race with that. Terrific prospects. Just trust me. Okay, Amanda. It seems to fit. Jack, what are you doing? Where are you going? What do you think? The next part of the amulet's waiting, and we must find an octopus. You must be joking! Umbati has our amulet! Why would we look any further? We cannot allow Umbati to get the other parts as well. Everything we did so far would have been for nothing. Jack is right. We shouldn't give up now.
but we haven't the slightest idea where we should look. An octopus is a lousy clue. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but this really is an octopus habitat. Well, perhaps I'm imagining things, but I feel this funny tingle in the spot where I used to wear the amulet. So either we're bound to find something here, or you need to take me to the nearest hospital. A funny tingle? I never doubted your abilities. Right! We must find the octopus from my dream, before Umbati does. Ugh, oh, very well. But now we may be close to the right place. All we're missing is the octopus. That's all? We'll never find an octopus in the Nile! Perhaps your dream wasn't about a real, live octopus. Jack, did you see other things in your dream too? Mm, yes. There were some stone tablets with simple drawings. One of them was this Egyptian beetle, I believe. A scarab! Those beetles were depicted everywhere in ancient Egypt, in temples, on obelisks, all over the place. Impossible! Jack, take a closer look at the obelisk. An obelisk? Where? You're standing on it. It may be a bit hard to recognize with all these roots wrapped around it, like tentacles. Eve, Amanda, you're both geniuses. And I knew we'd find it. That must be a huge coincidence. From a zoological point of view, this looks more like a squid, not an octopus. I think it comes close enough. So, shall we? Well, that should be pretty obvious. I'm still not convinced that this thing is an octopus. 